I think because this budget is a work in progress and, and it's a forecast, you're budgeting, you're making projections, um, it's not a question of someone being right or wrong, it's a question of looking and giving an honest reflection of where we're at. So uh, what the city manager had referenced at some of the house schools works events are a discrepancy between what the board had requested in what they actually received of $812,000 a year in, in the wage estimate. And on the few, next slide, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit, but also in the tuition line, which are two of our most variable lines, tuitions and salaries. Um, um, but I'll show you some backup on that. And the tuition, again, it's by based on the 2010 request and what we actually received, uh, he comes up with a $1.9 million difference. But let's flip the page, let's look at salaries. So when the city manager references an $800,000 discrepancy between what we requested and what we actually received. That's not money that's floating out there. That means we have to reduce our budget request accordingly. Last five years of certified salaries, and you're talking with almost 700 uh, certified sal 700 staff members. You're talking about a million, uh, 44 to 47 million dollar budget. The last five years, that line's been run within 1%. And when you think about that, people are coming and going all the time in, in education. And I, I also understand the other side of this argument, which is, look, 1% on 44 million, that's $440,000, that's, that's real money. And I think if we can be transparent and, and look at these numbers and say, yeah, this is where we're at in our salary line, let's agree that we're, rather than the board rushing to pre-spend it so the city, let's agree that We'll carry that over into the next year's allocation accordingly, and we can reduce our requests that we're asking for from the city council. And I think if we can develop that type of partnership, these numbers will, will mean less, not more.